There's never been a candle that aligns your physical body to your spiritual side. Each scent corresponds to a specific chakra point. Lavender is associated with a crown. That aroma gives us a higher state of consciousness. Green tea lemongrass helps your third eye to gain clarity of thought during meditation. Seven candles, seven scents, seven chakras, seven ways to balance yourself. Hi Leos, um, this is your Tarot After Dark. Make sure, make sure you watch the whole reading all the way to the end because there is an extended preview. In the preview, you will see how mystical, magical this kind of reading is because it just resonates to the T with what we're trying to address, okay? So watch the YouTube reading, check out the preview, and then follow me in extended. I'll see you there. Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your Tarot After Dark. It is dark and it's Tarot After Dark. It's not for everyone. It's not a dreamy reading. Um, we dive deeper to probably some things that we avoid in a connection. Um, so I'm giving you already a heads up. It is not gonna be a reading of rainbows and butterflies. So let's see what's going on for the Leos. This is your Tara After Dark. Um, so, okay, we're there. Hmm, there's two cards. Eight of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. Too scared to see things through. You're paranoid right now with everything surrounding love it feels like the eight of swords you always get surprise the person or the situation that you're dealing with always has something like but well, i didn't know i didn't see that coming well you should have told me you know, uh, in essence you have this um person that doesn't really gives you the honest you know story meaning the true story every time there's always something lingering on there's always like well um i'm not sure it could be like last minute someone changed their mind you guys were supposed to go out on drinks or eat or um, meet each other or see each other or you're gonna visit there's always a last minute change eight of swords with the page of pentacles and you have to be the one fixing it because the page is the one that's fixing it, right? So you're here right now saying, I cannot, you know, this energy here is jumping off the, of the tower. You're saying here, it's like, if I have to listen to this for another time, it will break me. You're now at your end with regards to dealing with them. You can't handle it anymore and there's no amount of fixing as the Page of Pentacles is here. There's no amount. I was going to say, oh, maybe it's their card or it's your card. But I, now I really feel that it is their card. They're frightened and they're scared because you're not fixing it anymore. You're not picking up after their mess. That's a nine of swords. You're just saying here that I can't. And then on their end, now it's like, what do I do? They're regretting their actions. And of course, asking for your patience. It feels like the person has a childlike energy where they keep doing the same old thing and you're the one mothering them. You're the one fixing it. And then now here it is, Nine of Swords asking for you. It's like, meet me halfway. Don't turn me down. Don't give up on us. Temperance is the you know the part where they're thinking 
I wonder if the Leo will work it out with them. That's a Sag. Could be connecting with a long distance relationship. So it's quite messy. The chariot. It looks like the chariot here is tired of listening. You put this helmet on. It's just like, I just want to ignore this situation right now. And of course, the chariot keeps moving forward. So energetically, you're tuning out from the person that you're dealing with. And you're just saying, I'd rather be by myself right now. I feel like the conversation is like, I need to go. I can't just stay here. It makes, it's, you know, it's making you uncomfortable thinking like, oh, so you expect me that I will fix it since I'm always the one fixing it. Don't you see the problem there? I'm always the one fixing your mess. Nine of Pentacles on their side. So this person has a tendency to be like, oh, I don't know what they did. I don't know, you know, I, I, I wasn't sure. I just did this. So whatever, like, you know, whatever that you already told him, don't do it. Um, they're the Nine of Swords. But then when you confront them, they're going to be this whole adult about it where it's just like, you know, I already know what you don't want. You know, like they're defensive because they also have a mask over here and they pretend like, no, I'm not affected by this. They're ready to confront with you actually with the Nine of Pentacles. It's a showdown with this person. Now the Nine of Pentacles, of course, they're going to pull the card of, well, I'm single and I can do whatever I want because mm -hmm. the Nine of Pentacles is single. So chances are you are seeing this person, you're thinking that you guys have something connecting, you know, with each other, and yet they do something foolish. They're scared about it. Nine of Swords. And you just had it. Mm -hmm. Mothering the Five of Cups. So this is where your energy, your approach towards them. I told you so. You never listened to me. How many times do I have to tell you this? Don't do that. Don't do this. And then look at the energy of the person that you're dealing with. You know, for them, you're nagging. For them, you're like, oh, so here we go again. It's about you. Here we go again. You're not, you know, I'm the one who's not listening. It's a blame game between the two of you here. And I don't side with anyone, you know. I don't even know what was the problem in the first place. I feel like it's a communication problem between the two of you. I see that the two of you are, you know, at each other, like, throat, basically. Mm -hmm. The person is claiming that they're always walking on thin ice. There's a lot of things that they can't. There's a lot of things. I can't do this. I can't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Because either you're going to get upset and you're going to, you know, you're going to throw a fit about it because that's what they're saying here with the um, with the Five of Cups. So for them, they're saying, it's like, I'm, I'm left with nothing to do, you know? Like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. This is what the person is saying. And then on your end, it, you're just like, what do you mean? I mean, isn't it like there's only the right thing to do and you can't even do the right thing? And then you, you know, like this person is making you look like you're the one who's controlling and demanding. But on their end, um, it feels like with the temperance, they're asking, it's like, you know, give me some space. I need some breather over here. Meet me halfway. Don't break up with me because it's eight, nine, and of course, ten of swords. So they're asking, it's like, don't, don't end this right now. Don't end it this way. You're making it complicated. This is what this person is saying to this. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading, guys. Link down there in the description box below for the whole extent of the reading. This is your Tarot After Dark. Um, thank you very much, Leos. Have a wonderful night. It's a blame game. It's push and pull. It's 
you, me, I did this, you did that. Mm -hmm. It's it's very tricky. This is what I'm seeing. Ugh. And what did I say? It came out. And I what did I say on YouTube? From eight, nine, ten of swords. The ten of swords came out. It really just jumped. Mm-hmm. How magical is that? 